Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have a brand new trailer for the Monster High animated series that reveals our first full look at the new Gen 3 Spectra Finnegan, a bunch more new characters and we also have new descriptions for the Monster High characters. So let's get into okay, it. So first up we're going to take a look at these new descriptions for the characters thanks to at Mordecai Wolfgang on Instagram, that's where I found these pictures. So first we have have Claudine and here it says Claudine Wolf it even has like the pronouns for every character that's really nice it says as a biracial human who finds out she's also half wait as a biracial human who finds out she's also half human half okay that that's weirdly structured that sentence <laughs> <laughs> they mention okay anyways half human half werewolf claudine's used to defying the boxes that others want to put her in embracing the vastness of her ident identity has its challenges but she has the bravery and determination to do it in all the adventures the uh in all the adventures the boo crew find claudine relies on her werewolf powers in acute sense of smell and hearing help her follow clues while her enhanced speed and strength allow her to take down anything in her way but she's more than just a powerful monster she's geeky inquisitive and appreciates a good pun okay so yeah that at the beginning threw me off but anyways so yes she is biracial you know she's also latina that's great uh i don't really uh, to me that still feels like like that's just something they added on like last second because it's nowhere to be seen in the movie or at least i missed some kind of hint i don't know um but it's it's great nonetheless and you know she discovers she's half werewolf that's awesome and so yeah she's trying to find out her what her identity is because she's like half human half werewolf but also biracial so a lot of different layers there obviously in her adventures she's going to be using her powers but also uh she's not all about you know she's not just the brawn she's also yeah, she's geeky so that's cute okay next up we have frankie stein frankie isn't just new to being a monster they're new to being period brought to life just 15 days before the start of our series by their scientist parents frankie's figuring out who they are and what they want to be that means they have no filter, can be boggled by social norms, and can be completely awed by the mundane. On other on the on the other detachable hand, Frankie's brain is filled with pieces from the best and brightest minds in monster monster history, making them one of the smartest kids in school. Okay, so by the way, I don't really know where these um descriptions are where they came from. Like what is the original source? I don't know, because it almost seems like they're talking about it in like the um like it's a like the creators are talking about the the designs so i'm not quite sure like where these come from but yeah because here you can also see it says main character so it's like they're talking about the show but like they have the picture of the doll here so anyways uh that's cool we already knew all of this they're gonna be like very like new and like discovering basically like the fish out of water next up we have draculaura draculaura's text is huge so <laughs> let's try here draculaura the, rev the revered daughter of dracula is smart chic confident and gliding through on the life or so it seems beneath her perfect exterior is a big secret she wants to be a witch draculaura believes in the world's potential wants to improve society and engages in activism she is passionate about equality and wants to help everyone including her two beasties claudine and frankie as a perfectionist draculaura only ever ever reveals her best side but little by little her friends are breaking down her walls and helping her overcome her insecurities so she can be her authentic goofball self so it seems like yeah like she has a lot of insecurities she's putting up a facade you know she's like yeah I, stuff like this so we already signed a live action movie as as well so that's cool that they're really bringing those two projects together so i want to see i can't wait to see here what they actually mean by activism like um i hope we get to see that in the show we have laguna laguna a sea monster grew up in a remote castillo dreaming of the world beyond that, that reminds me of like the little mermaid that whole sentence <laughs> like the world beyond when she gets to monster high she doesn't know much about life or love so she fills in the gaps with romantic fairy tales and high drama telenovelas <laughs> 
<laughs> no way. Them mentioning telenovelas, that's, that's, in, that's so cool. I love that. When faced with a dis disagreement, she goes into shark mode and reveals a huge number of needle sharp teeth. She may be cute bubbly on the outside, but Laguna is the most bloodthirsty monster at school. However, she's working through this and learning what it takes to be in a relationship, whether it's romantic oh, or between friends. So this hints that Laguna might be involved romantically in the show. With whom is Gil coming back? I think he might be. Then we have have Deuce. Deuce, the son of Medusa, is known by his sunglasses slick style and the seven snakes that live on his head, each representing one of the seven deadly sins. Okay, that's cool. He's a monster's monster, or so he wants you to think. He may have a chill, cool exterior, but he's actually a little darky deep down. Deuce loves to take care of people and help out whenever possible. He longs for meaningful connections and is learning to stand up for himself against a constant peer pressure from his snakes. Oh my god, that's so cute that he's like longing for connection. Oh my god, that's, that's so genuine. Oh my, so pure. I really hope that he, you know, he's he's treated well in the show. Um, and then, it, yeah, it seems like he's getting bullied by his own snakes. That's going to be interesting uh, dynamic to see how that works with his snakes being like literally on his head and he cannot get rid of them. Then we have Torlai. Torlai, the school's bad girl, where Cat believes she's a modern hero by standing up for proper monster values. With a strong anti-human sentiment, it's no surprise that her goal is to get Claudine removed from Monster High, even if she has to frame her to do it. What? And it doesn't help that their two families have a centuries-long beef. Even in the monster world, cats and dogs don't get along. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. I guess Torlai will be like a little bit of an um, an antagonist. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, literally, they describe here that she doesn't care if she has to frame Claudine for doing something awful. So... That is gonna be juicy, to say the very least. Next up, we have Gulia. Here it reads, This zombie is anything but brain dead. Curious, clever, and with fast fingers, Gulia's the top gamer at Monster High. She's, oh, look at that. Little typo. That's cool. <laughs> She's also great at skateboarding, which is great for getting around school faster than her undead legs will carry her. If only she was as good as stopping. Good thing zombies can't get hurt. So that's cool. I guess she goes a little too fast on her skateboard and then she can't, you know, stop anymore. And then lastly, we have Cleo here. It reads, Cleo, the daughter of the mummy rulers, knows she was the scent for greatness. After all, she's second in line for the royal throne behind her older sister, Nephra. If she can't displace her sister, she'll settle for queen of the social scene and ruler of Eek Talk? Oh my god, no. Is that supposed to be like TikTok? <gasps> no, that's so cringe. Oh my god. <laughs> No, don't tell me she's gonna be like a TikTok star on. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was just a slap to my face. I'm sorry. That's just so cringe. At least for me. I mean, that's cool, but like also kind of cringe. Like, oh my god, Loki. <laughs> If she does dances, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, anyways. Um, Nefra's in the show. I hope so. Yes, slay. Uh, and then it reads, Cleo may be a bit spoiled and self-centered, but she has a big heart and a lot of ideas. Even if a lot of those ideas involve cursing her enemies with swarms of scarabs. Yeah, since remember, she has a new power with scarabs, so that's cool okay and now let's move on to the trailer so we're going to look at the new shots only there's some shots that, were, that are repeats from the last trailer so here we start off with a new uh out, outer exterior outer shot of the school we can see the main goals here frankie claudine and dracula and look there's deuce as well it looks like he's almost maybe showing them around because they're new they're the new goals at school that could be the case here we get spectra to, we get to see spectra again but then we get to see her full outfit and she says something that you know she's gonna like fail like her haunting class because she can't scare claudine that was funny um but look at her outfit 
outfit we can finally get to see her full outfit her full look um and i gotta say it's a very simple outfit but i feel like it works for her and honestly with these new designs i do feel like simple is sometimes just better you know it doesn't have to be too over complicated and the original gulia i mean spectra her outfit is simple it's just a skirt uh, a belt a top and that's it like it's very simple so Spectra's outfit here does remind me of her original outfit very much. I like the poofy sleeves, the collar, and then everything else is just like a one piece, uh, I guess, like um, jumper, like bodysuit kind of situation. Uh, yeah, like a romper almost with the chain print and a chain belt. That looks really cute. And then her shoes. Her shoes look like her original shoes because they have little balls here and chains across the ankles. Uh, they look like uh, platform wedges, like platform heels or something with socks. I love that. I love these shoes. They look so cute on her. Um, and yeah, the design for this animated series is where all the characters have like really chunky, thick uh, legs. So the legs look like that with all the characters. So it's normal. Um, overall, I think spectra looks really good here uh again very simple but like again i, I do i i kind of prefer i prefer simple uh over complicated <laughs> um here we have another shot of spectra looking more disappointed <laughs> her earrings are super cute i don't know if i love the headband though the headband and the hairstyle make her look like airy hauntington and i'm not sure if i like that so that's the only thing i maybe have a problem with but yeah here we are underground in the catacombs something's happening here we are in the hallway of monster high with some background characters uh really interesting stuff here we have our classroom scene miss bloodgood is showing is teaching something about dragons perhaps we also have our only shot here of heath we still don't have a we still haven't seen him from the front, like a clear full picture of him. So, but here he is from the back. We can see this is Deuce of Snakes looking at stuff, something else. <laughs> um, here we have two new characters. I don't know who these two characters are. This character could be Romulus, you know, the gray wolf. But I don't know who this character is. <gasps> Wait, no. Is that Torlai Stripe's brother? Um, oh my god, what was his name? The brother that apparently is going to be voiced by Joshua Bassett. If you haven't seen that video, I covered it a while back. This could be Torlai's brother. Uh, and this could be uh, Ro Ro Romulus. Romulus. So th that's 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 who these could be. They look like werewolves. So that's they could be these characters. Or I could also just be completely wrong. <laughs> but they look cool. Uh, they're skateboarders. Here we have another classroom scene with Spectra, Frankie, Dracula, Torlai, and Deuce. They are holding a orb. And we have a closer look here at Spectra sitting down. Her shoes. Oh my god, her shoes look so good. See what I mean? The orbs are like the heel portion. They look so cute. I love that. And then here she is with her eyes open. She looks so cute. I do like her. I feel like the design for her is very simple. But again, it works best for her and um yeah i really do enjoy her and deuce looks so cute as well too they all look great oh my god honestly yeah and like what is what is what is happening here well anyways oh yeah the uh, werewolf, werewolf character here is again in the back background interesting oh my god here's like a cute scene where they're all hugging adorable here is deuce taking selfies on top of a tombstone uh, he's doing something interesting with the snakes. They look like antennas or something. That looks cool. Um, here's Cleo. We finally get a full picture of Cleo here. Her full outfit. I love the outfit. It's so cute. I like the wrap details and the, the wedges for her. Her purse. Um, here in this scene, she's saying something about how, you know, she, Claudine is like um, a superstar or something. So that's interesting that perhaps these two were actually not not enemies they're actually friends right away so that's gonna be cool uh yeah see she's like kind of like doing like a roar like clawing motion i don't know what's happening here but she looks great i love her uh claudine seems to like her too i guess <laughs> uh here's Dracula kind of like summoning some spells um here we have miss bloodgood on her desk and i guess she has an extra little chair for the head only which is hilarious i love that 
Uh, here we have part of like the earlier scene where they are all together. So cute. Here we have Frankie slipping. Look at the leg just flying off. <laughs> uh, Frankie, yeah, the, here in this scene, Frankie mentions how it's hard to beat them and that they wish, you know, and then, and then Claudine says, well, at least you don't sweat as much because apparently Claudine sweats a lot. So maybe too much information, but okay. <laughs> Look, here we are in a Catacombs 2 or something similar. Interesting. Here we have Frankie kind of like vaulting, vaulting out or some bolting out <laughs> too much energy uh and here we have our first look at finnegan yay so he's gonna be like in a band with frankie oh my god i hope so it'll be so cute he looks great here um and then we have watsi our first look at watsi oh look the snake just ate the whole ice cream scoop that was yeah that's ridiculous oh my god <laughs> Look, these two characters here again, they're skating all the time. We have Cleo here in the background as well. And in here we have Spectra. They're going through Spectra apparently, which is okay. Wow. Not, maybe not, may, maybe Spectra can't feel it, but it looks like she's having a good time. She doesn't mind at all. Here's her purse. It's like a chain. That's cool. Uh, her eye coffin too. We can see it a little bit better. Uh, Cause you know they're gonna make her into a doll sooner or later, like for sure. Here we have Deuce, kind of like at a carnival perhaps or something, shooting lasers. Not like <laughs> he's shooting his uh, glare or whatever, stone glare. Uh, and here we are at a basketball court or something. I don't know why Frank and Deuce are trying to stop Claudine. So let's see what that's about. Um, and what is this about? Deuce is fighting a camera. What? Okay. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening here, but yeah, it's premiering Friday, October 28th, so that's But awesome. yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Monster High doll news, doll reviews, uh, animated series news, a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with what the doll tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.